Welcome to Marriage Mondays, where we talk about all things marriage and, of course, most importantly, family. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and listening. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you. This is Marriage Mondays. Hi guys, welcome back to Marriage Mondays. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about friendships and courtships. <laughs> and I'm out of breath. Gotta get back in the gym. But if you want to hear about this, then keep on watching. Hey, babe. What up, though? You handsome. So, friendships and courtships. What do you think about when you first think about that? Or what does that mean to you? Me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> so, simply put, like a friendship could be just kind of a, I guess, it, well, at least it should be more of a, a reciprocal type of relationship. Um, you know, and of course, with really nothing to gain from either party besides, you know, the friendship, uh, the, you know, the companionship, the relationship. On the other hand, a courtship would be um, someone courting the other to basically get something out of the deal. Um, I mean, even if it's, even if it's a friendship, if they're courting for a friendship or courting for a relationship, their a, a, a courtship is more than likely one party kind of putting in a lot to get something. Okay, so the definition of courtship, I pulled it up. It says a period during which a couple develop a romantic relationship, especially with a view to marriage. So what that means is we're not, you know, dating around. <laughs> like we are looking to be married and to marry each other. And so we need to know basically the intimate things because when people think of romance i guess they probably think of like you know the lust stuff the sexual stuff but no you really need to look at the intimacy but between the two of you so do did you know what courtship was before me and you started dating um uh, i mean yeah, I mean, kind of. So, kinda. again, like, yeah, kind of, sort of. But you definitely courted me, though. Yeah, it's. I mean, from what I saw, courtship as it, like I said, it's a little bit more one-sided. Mm -hmm. But the definition makes it, you know, kind of seem like it's a, a a couple doing. But I mean, I guess like as progression goes through the courtship then I guess it does become more of like a two-sided type of thing or a, a reciprocal type of thing. So, I mean, I guess I could see that. Um, but I, I guess I was just thinking in the beginning of a, of a courting situation. Um, most of the time, it's just kind of one-sided. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like you courted me when we first started dating and basically that's dating with intentions to marry and i know a lot of people listen everyone that you date first of all is not supposed to be your husband or your wife you know if you marry every single person you date like make it make sense like that's not <laughs> how it is you're supposed to date to develop i'll say relationship skills and 
But the core is to date with intention. And a lot of people don't date with intention. And of course, a lot of people don't even know what that is or what that even means. And that's what it means. And that's what it looks like. But I feel like courtship and friendship go hand in hand. And let me read the definition of friendship. Do you want to take a crack at what you think friendship means? <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of already said it. I guess a mutual relationship between, you know, well, it could, I mean, a friendship definitely can be between multiple people. But, I mean, if we just talk about it, like, as a two situation, then, you know, it's just a, a mutual companionship relationship between two people with really nothing to gain outside of just the companionship Mm -hmm. so So it says a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bound of mutual affection typically exclusive of (laughs) this is crazy how this is what they say friendship is Typically exclusive of sexual or family relations. <laughs> what? You can have guy friends and girlfriends and then not be sexual? Whatever. Anyway, yeah, so that goes hand in hand with courtship. Like I said, a a nose of whom one you have a bond with. So it's good to have a bond with the person that you're dating and to become friends. How important do you think it is to be friends? Like, do you think people can be married and not be friends? I mean, it's definitely possible. Um, But how important you think it is? I mean, it's not healthy, but it's definitely possible. What's not healthy? To be to be married and not be friends. Oh, you like, think so? I mean, yeah, because I feel like the person that you're married to, the person that you probably, in my opinion, you should probably trust the most and be, and should be able to communicate with the best and all of that good stuff. I, I, I feel as though you should be... Um, friends with that person mm-hmm. but i guess not i guess you know some people don't view it as that because their relationships or their marriages may not necessarily be built on you know that it could be built on something else and i mean it might not have anything to do with being friends or being close with each other or even trusting each other is more so based on you know, again, back to what can you do for me and what can I do for you? So it's more, you know, a transactional type of thing. Mm-hmm. Are we friends? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, the only friend I got at this point. Uh, so, yeah. Don't we? Not us only being each other's friends. We ain't got no other friends. Hmm. <laughs> We're at peace, though. We're peaceful. We're yeah, I mean, peace. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't have anybody necessarily. I mean, the people, I guess, you know, to that little point about, um, you know, a friend is somebody that's not necessarily family, but... Um, I guess they say by blood, like basically a blood relative. But anybody at this point that is not a blood relative, but I still consider them close. I mean, to me, they family. When you get older, it's like ugh, just my family, and that's it. I'm pretty good off anything and and everything else, but. Yeah, I do feel like we're friends. But back to the court courting uh, of it all. Do do you feel like you courting me? Yeah, I mean, I think most men find themselves um, 
supporting women mm-hmm. in a way. Um, and I mean, it's, it's kind of like, you know, kind of how everybody said, you even said, you know, how, of course, when you're dating and, and, and which is, you know, quote unquote courting, um, you kind of, I guess, to a certain extent, put your best foot forward, making sure the, that the other party is as happy as possible. Um, and, and, you know, you just, in my opinion, in the courting time, you basically trying to win each other over, which sounds kind of bad, but it's not. It's just, you know, you're, you're trying to kind of prove yourself. And again, all that sounds bad when you really like kind of think about it, but it's not. It's just it's what you have to do. It's what you do because, yeah. you know, nobody, even if you're naturally drawn to each other, not a lot of people know, okay, this is a person that I want to marry. This is the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is the person I know cares about me. We ought to show it. And, I mean, through the courting, that's how you show it. How long do you think it takes for a man to know, like, that's his wife? I believe every situation is different. A few weeks. For some people, it can be a few months. I don't think it should go too long. I mean, I I feel like a few years is a bit ridiculous. Um... But, hey, I mean, I guess if that's the pace that you want to move at, I mean, who am I? But I personally feel like more than a year or so is kind of, yeah, kind of pushing the the envelope on that. So some people be like, oh, you knew after two weeks, ain't no way. That's, I'm not saying, so that's possible. But for you not to know mm-hmm. going in reverse and you've been dating or courting or whatever you want to say for, you know, over a year or, you know, going on two years and you still saying, oh, and I don't know if this the one. It's like, bro, like, I mean, even if even back to your point about the intention of things. Even if it doesn't end up working out, you should, at that point, have the intention for it to work out, for it to be the forever. Because you then spent a whole year plus of your life with this one person. Hopefully. I mean, unless you wasn't with that one person. That's a whole nother story. But. So it, it's a year, guys. The answer is a year. <laughs> yes. So, so for... You to know the deadline, I guess you should say. The deadline for you to know, I would say. So a man a would year. know in a year if that's his wife. At the most. But I, I think most men would know before then. Mm-hmm. Most men should know well before then that at least, again, like I said, now you're going to find out stuff. Mm-hmm. Things are going to. Some things might change. The ideal of it is within a year, you should kind of know. Like, okay, let me start again to your point again, being more intentional about, you know, this being the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And it work, if it worked, great. Well, that's the way you want it to be. So, um, I think it definitely helps. First, first of all, first and foremost, number one, have God in your relationship. First of all, that's going to do anything. So even if y'all did go into the marriage and y'all weren't friends, if y'all have God in it, that's all you need. But I do think it is a benefit to be friends before you get married, because at the end of the day, if Say y'all are at odds with each other romantically, but if y'all are out in public and something goes wrong, like somebody stepped to you, somebody stepped to me, and it's just like, uh uh-uh, now hold on, this is my friend. Like, you're going to chill, you're going to respect her. So 
and that kind of will bring y'all together and y'all will have you know a lot of similarities and of course a lot of opposite things as well but that's what builds y'all up and builds y'all together but totally off topic do you think parents should be their kids friends I wonder if we have the same views on this. Um, <laughs> so no, not not in the sense of you know how parents say you know I ain't one of your little friends. You don't you you can't communicate with me. In the exact same way that you do one of your peers. Because I'm not one of your peers. So, we're not friends in that capacity. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like parents should have a friendly relationship with their kids. As, I, I and I feel like, only really, well... Yeah, pretty much only as it relates to communication. So, and that almost sounds kind of backwards. But, again, you should feel like you should be open with me. You should be able to talk to me about anything. But, again, don't talk to me like I am one of your peers when it, as far as if you talking to your best friend and, you know, they your same age. Don't come talking to me like that. But at the same time, you should feel, you know, free to talk, you know. So, it should be a friendly relationship. You should have some sort of friendly relationship with your kids. Mm -hmm. But not, no. I mean, I guess in the in summation, no, not be friends. Because I feel like that that's a, a thin line. And I think a lot of parents, be they try to act like their kids' peers. And that's, that's a no-go. Like be going to the club with them, be yeah. I don't want to. I, I don't want to dress like you. I don't want to communicate like you. I want you to be saying words that I don't understand, because you're a different generation. You're a different person. You y'all are totally different people than than what I am. So why would I? Why would I want to go around? You know. Acting like one of your peers. Mm -hmm. That's crazy to me. So, um, friendly relationship, but not one of your peers. I mean, I disagree because I feel like you could be friends with a much older person than you are. I don't think you have to be on the same level to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and to this be friends, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like we're not speaking. I, is it this ain't Spanish and English? Like we're that's still what I'm saying. human. The, the communication part of it, me us being able to talk about, you know, if you okay. So example, if my son wants to come to me and talk to me about females, you're not gonna talk about females the same way you probably would with your little friends. I don't want to talk about how the girl look and how big her booty is and all this stuff. We're talking about a teenager or a little child. I don't want to talk about that. If you got, if you want to talk about females, you want to talk about, you want to have a relationship as it relates to, you want, you want to have a conversation as it re relates to relationships and girls and what you should do and all this stuff and, if you want to express to me that you really like how this young lady looks, say that. I'm very attracted to her, Dad. And I get it. You ain't got to go into detail. So that's what I mean by don't don't talk to me and handle me like I'm one of your little well, friends. Well, RJ is an upstanding guy. He won't be talking about that with his friends. Man, every <laughs> upstanding guy. This, there's Listen, such for thing. Me, for, okay, maybe it's different for, for girls and, and guys. Because for me, I I think it's extremely dangerous and thank God for looking out for me. And of course, our God, our, our God looks out for our kids. But I think it's extremely dangerous to set that relationship with your child. And I was forced to go to the world 
answers answers to simple life questions because I felt like there was such a authoritative figure and stern and err uh, and <laughs> if I said anything too crazy it would be deemed as disrespectful and I wouldn't be able you know what I'm saying like it's just and, and it's crazy because simple life things you feel like you couldn't say it to your parents because you felt like it would come off as disrespectful. So I had to go to my friends, my peers, because even at school, like even the cool uh, teachers, like I wouldn't even go to them and ask them stuff. Like, I mean, if we're having a conversation like that and answering, asking questions and stuff, maybe, but I wouldn't even go to like teachers. <laughs> like I was just instilled like, you know, adults, respect adults, they're your authority which in my mind made me feel like, oh, well, I can't ask y'all about basic necessities that I need for life unless I'm going to be deemed disrespectful or I'm too grown or where you learn that from? I'm going to call your mom or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why I feel like, and like I said, I'm, maybe that's just me and I think it's different for women, but I feel like there should be a sort of comfort that needs to be with your kids and especially like you just said kids are gonna talk like that so they're gonna feel a little uncomfortable trying to be respectful and ask you a question because they're not gonna be able to get it out honestly and, and and truthfully but I mean I don't know with RJ I feel like that definitely needs to be some sort of comfort and they definitely need to come to us RJ definitely needs to come to us about everything so that he's not running out to the world to, to look for those answers and he's going to be led astray. I mean, yeah, like, and that's, that that's, was just my experience. Kind of like basically what I said, I mean, it's you should have the, the open, you should be able to feel like you can, you know. Well, how can he do that when you just said, don't talk to me like your friends? If he wants to ask you something that's uncomfortable, how can yeah, he do that if he can't even ask you the question? If it's it's fine if it's uncomfortable. It's it's not the the comfortability of the question. It's the it's the it's it's really just the 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 way you say it. It's how you say it. Um, it's the tone in which you may say it. But it's basic um, life stuff. Like it's not gonna be a question to where. And like I said, hopefully RJ is a respectable young man and he just is like that way all around. But if it's a question that's uncomfortable or too grown, wherever the freak that means, yeah, how is he supposed to come to you and come comfortably? I mean, like I said, that's something that's, I think, rooted very early. Because don't get me wrong, I do feel like like I said, you so there's as far as a, as a parent goes, there needs to be a healthy level of respect. Then there needs to be a help, healthy level of comfort between you know you and your kids. So I don't think you and your kids should necessarily be friends because I think at some point <laughs> it does become that slippery slope. And to your point, you start talking about like you want to start going out with your with your kids and like I said you start dressing like your kids and you you end up turning into your kid because you're so busy trying to be their friends I think that's and, toxic and a horrible way of looking at it and I don't know what you got that from but I don't I definitely think that there's a relationship with your kids that can exist and they're not being morphing into each other I mean yeah. it's kind of crazy it's just it's yeah, I think called, that's a midlife crisis. I don't I'm, think that's an actual genuine. I don't want to make sure my son comes to me with with everything. How does that correlate to? Uh, I'm about to dress like him. Yeah, and we about to go party together. Like what? But I, again, no, what I don't think that can help. But then that also goes to what's the definition of a friend? Because again, a friendly relationship is different than being someone's friend. Because being being someone's friend. It's also, you know, sometimes just talking to them about stuff that makes absolutely no sense, and which is fine. You can also have that type of relationship with your child too, but we now not now we're not even talking about the same thing. Now we're talking about you just having, you know, a regular you know conversation, and if you get out of pocket 
in that conversation, if it was to happen, then again, that's a whole nother thing. Then So what does that look like for parents to be friendly with their kids? What does that like I said, like? just just them being comfortable. Your your kid in my I know, opinion, but I'm saying how do you ensure that relationship with your child? Just making sure you always approachable. Um and how do you do that? Well, number one, you tell them and you make <laughs> sure, you know, that they and, and, and tell them all the time. Um, and, and some people say, oh, you've been a helicopter parent. And, oh, you're I'm approachable. Being... Yeah. I mean, just tell them, what? you know, and sometimes that's all kids need is to be told, hey, if you if you got something you want to talk about, you can talk to me. Mm-hmm. You know that. I'm here right? to tell you that don't work, boo. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it can. And, and like I said, and the, then the biggest thing is, though, once they do come to you once or twice, to your point, you can't make them feel like they're doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. So that's a two-part thing. Number one, you got to let them know that they can talk to you. Because at some point, they're going to try it because they're kids. And that's what kids do. Kids are always going to try boundaries. Once they try it, then they're going to kind of see how you respond to it. Again, if it's something that, you're, that you feel like your child really needs to know, um, especially as they're becoming young adults and stuff like that, then you have that conversation with them. And you try to have it as mature as possible. Um but at the same time, like I said, just the other part about it is just being weary that I don't want, and I wasn't necessarily a bad young person, but I don't necessarily want RJ to do everything that I did when I was young. So I'm not about to try and come down his level and then just, if he doing something knuckleheaded, I'm going to just be like, oh, well, you know, that's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to be out there, you know, doing girls like this, doing girls like that. No, fool. It's not, that. that's, no, that's not what I, that's not the relationship that I want to have with my son. I don't think, no, like, I don't, <laughs> you shouldn't. That, what kind of friendship is that? <laughs> I mean, that's that's well. I mean, again, like I said, what? that's that would be that would be teenage friends. That would be that would be teenage. That would be teenage. I know, friends, but I, teenage obviously friends. we're parents, so obviously yeah. it's going to be a different type of friendship. But I don't understand how y'all being friends. You give him bad advice. You're his parent. You're not. You're you're acting like friendship. You're supposed to, like you said, the parents start dressing like them. You acting like you supposed to get their age, and then that's how y'all can be friends. Like no, still be your age. Still be like, you did what? Nah, brother, it ain't cool. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. You gotta respect. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. Like, why would you say? <laughs> Well, yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's how you do it. No, you, I'm saying being a friend, you need to tell them, tell them the real. Because and and the thing about it is though, they may not want to be receptive of that because, of course, again, it's 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 something that's coming from. Okay, but they're not gonna the, be receptive of you jacking them up and saying what the right thing to do too so i mean that's just period if they're not receptive they're not receptive but at the end of the day at least you came to me and at mm. least i gave gave the best advice that i could and you didn't go get it from knucklehead who's the same age as you and y'all don't know that yeah. that's all i'm saying i just feel like you should keep the lines of communication open because at the end of the day this is we're all living this life and we were not whether ain't no telling what how school is gonna be when RJ get older. But I will hope things will be a little same as when me and you grew up. And there's some real life questions that need to be asked and answered. Mm-hmm. And I will hope that he could come to us and don't feel like he can't come to us. And then he gonna be lost like a lost little puppy. And I don't want him lost like a lost little puppy. You say you don't want to be there if 
we don't have the same uh, moral compass. He told me to remind you about that. Relationship, courtship, anything. Um, if and if we're not heading the same way, um, in in many different ways, but especially morally, if we're if we're not on the same page as it comes to the basic life things, um, then yeah, I don't necessarily want to be around you. I want to be in a, in any kind of relationship with you. So um, I, I think that's probably where I was going with that. Um, it might have been something more in depth that I was going to say, but I can't remember right now. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's I mean that's that's pretty much the gist of it though. Um, I ain't never necessarily even if even if my it don't matter like even if your boys even if your moral compass is jacked up at the time if y'all you know, want to go, you know, robbing, killing, and stealing. And if that's just where you at, then you want to be around, you probably going to want to be around people who robbing, killing, and stealing. If you, that's just what it is. Like, you're not, you yes. probably not going to want to be around, a, a, you know, some holy roller if you a person that want to do that. You, you probably not going to want to do that. So, I mean, that's just it. You, I didn't say it, birds of a feather flock together. Well, alright guys, this has been another episode of Rich Wonders. If y'all have any questions, don't forget to put them down in the comment box. And we will see you guys.